what software defined networking does and what it will do to the industry as, as, as a whole is introduce new ways to make the foundation stronger, to allow us to innovate faster, to allow us to innovate on our own. And as a consequence, the entire industry, I think, is going to change. The thesis here is that it's the lack of ability to innovate in the network that results in, in the inability to keep pace with user requirements and to keep the TCO under control. This is a major change in the paradigm. We are not designing distributed control protocols anymore. Okay? We are defining a centralized or logically centralized control function, which is the configuration is a function of the network view that I give you. With these abstractions, what do we get out of this? Well, we get a unified way of thinking about the boxes in the network. They're just forwarding planes now. This is the beginning of the software era of networking. I personally see this as the next revolution in networking, not the next evolution. I think it'd be wonderful for the users to be able to control their own destiny rather than uh, having to accept what is, built, what is built for us. It also allows for that innovation that, we've, that we heard quite a bit about yesterday so that we can bring new software, new capabilities, new services to market more quickly. All right, so there is an uplift in revenue potential as well. Innovation is the true value proposition of SDM. What we do in Frenetic is add some foundations on top of the, the low-level API of OpenFlow. Essentially innovating on top of OpenFlow in terms of providing programming abstractions. The key thing here is separating reading from writing and a lot of the, what we're doing uh, derives from that. Uh, and explicitly making it possible for the programmer to, to register a query and to register a policy with the network. And then a bunch of operators that allow us to deal with the heterogeneous streams of data that these networks inevitably have. Around a common vision of making networking better through software, we've developed a really broad and diverse community. We have entrepreneurs, we have marketers, we've got project leaders, we've got researchers, we've got labs guys, we've got management, we've got channels, we've got OEMs, we've got ODMs. I mean, this is a subset of the full networking ecosystem. This is a movement, you know, this isn't the standards committee, it's really a movement. I really believe that that movement lives or dies by the community that's behind it. And I think it's all of our responsibility to cultivate that community. It has to mature at all different levels, all the way from the basic open flow protocol. It has to continue to evolve. There are only few switches uh, that are available. And in those cases, open flow is just added to the switch as opposed to an open flow optimized switch, for example. So that has to change potentially. And then the entire SDN software stack, that whole SDN stack has to continue to evolve as well. I guess based on everything we heard, vendors want to do it, providers want to do it. There is a lot of optimism that it will happen. And I encourage and implore all of you to help in that process. You will look at this and say, there are things that are missing. Well, then think about, well, maybe I can add that in my box and differentiate from everybody else. Maybe that there are things that you think should be there down the road. Well, get involved in the ONF and working groups and help steer it in that direction. Because in the end, this is what we make of it. And we, as everybody in this room, represents a large fraction of the networking industry. And in order to make this better and to improve this, we all need to take part in moving this along. <laughs>